Hi, I'm Michael Dye. In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between a cottonmouth and a water snake. Cottonmouth is known as the water moccasin. So when you hear water moccasin and cottonmouth, they are the same snake. Will a cottonmouth attack you? And uh, a lot of people think they will. They think they are the most aggressive snake out there. And frankly, that's just not true. They're probably one of the most chilled venomous snakes we have here. They show you they're feeling uncomfortable by giving you certain signs like rattling their tail, hissing, rearing up and opening their mouth, showing you the white of their mouth. That's their warning sign. Will they flat out go after you and chase you? No, they won't. Some people have a delusion that the snake is chasing them. And I say this uh, not likely when I say a delusion. Because honestly, if a snake is coming at you and you don't understand the behavior of a snake, the snake does not have very good eyesight. It can see a shadow behind you and think that's a hiding place. It's not coming after you. And if it's coming in your direction, do something by moving out of its way. It's not faster than you. You can move faster than what a cottonmouth can move. It might scare you a little bit, but it's not coming for you because it, it wants to bite you and envenomate you and eat you. Now, to my knowledge, a lot of envenomations have been pure accidents or pure stupidity. Accidents meaning someone's walking in the woods and they don't see the snake and they accidentally step on it. Um, that the snake is gonna be quite scared and it's, it's gonna bite. It's just a byproduct. It doesn't know what's going on. Alcohol has been involved in probably most of the envenomations here in the United States. When I read about someone getting bit, it normally has alcohol in the text. So that's something to think about. And they're normally trying to kill it too. Let's start with a more common characteristic of a cottonmouth. It's cat eyes or elliptical eyes. A lot of people know that pit vipers have cat eyes, but here's a warning. It's a pupil. So depending on the amount of light that's around, the pupil can expand and subtract. If there's less light, it's going to appear to be more round than elliptical. Let's take a look at the dark bands that go through both eyes compared to a banded water snake. Also note the lip lines on the banded water snake. Now let's look at the side bands. Look at the dark cross bands with lighter bands in between. Also note the darker spots in between the two bands. This moccasin is saying, Roar! I'm so scary. Please don't eat me. Don't worry, little dude. I'm just here to take your picture. Older and larger cottonmouths become darker. Sometimes the bands are hard to see. Quite the opposite with the babies. They are pretty. Look at that bright yellow tail. They may use it to lure in frogs and such to their impending doom. A lot of people confuse these juveniles with copperheads, but I'll get into that in another video. Let's go back to the head. You see that little pit close to its eyes? Yeah, you're looking at the nostril. Let me pull up a photo. That's better. Cotton mouse are a pit viper. Its heat pit is right in between its eye and its nostril. Yeah, cotton mouse have a triangle shaped head because of their venom gland. But let's not let it be a deciding factor in an ID. Water snakes can flatten out their neck and look similar. On those water snakes, there's a lot of species of Nerodia, and they can all be variable looking. But honestly, do any of them really look like moccasins? 